Jeff Harris, it is the first half of tonight's double main event. Some strong words from the champ as he has called out Samoa Joe to get his belt back. And I tell you, Joe didn't waste any time answering that call. Brad, I think the key phrase that Jeff Jarrett said was, Joe, Jeff is going to kill you. Using the phrase the Samoa Joe so as we hear these fans chanting for Joe. You see the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt still in the possession of Samoa Joe, who beat Jeff Jarrett clean in the middle of the ring at last week's No Surrender pay-per-view in a non-title bout, and ever since then has had possession physically of the title belt. He definitely is considered the uncrowned heavyweight champion of the world here in TNA. But Jeff Jarrett, love him or not, he is the king of the mount. He is the official NWA world heavyweight champion despite not having that championship belt. And tonight he plans on taking it from Joe here in Richmond. This is a match that everyone has been waiting for, including myself. Samoa Joe, after all these matches we've seen him in live events, Brad, I have to admit, he's won me over. I've seen what all the hype was, and I believe Samoa Joe has the future of wrestling in the palm of his hands, but he's got to get back. The king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett. It is a match that a lot of us internally have wondered if we would ever see, have wondered if Jeff Jarrett would ever get coerced into getting in a ring with Samoa Joe. It took TNA management representative Jim Cornette to make it happen in the fans' revenge match, and now it's taken Samoa Joe taking the title belt hostage to get a return match. Jarrett, love him or not, as you said, crafty, smart, Resourceful will do anything it takes to pull out the victory and has the political connections, has the stroke most of the time to get away with it. Joe, no nonsense. Straight up, man to man wrestling will take you down and hurt you. Is not going to play the political games, is not going to play the foolishness of Jeff trying to get people on his side, trying to recruit help. Joe will man up against Jeff Jarrett and he takes Jarrett off his feet with a thunderous tackle. Brad, just like you talked about, Jeff Jarrett, so many years experience, he's used to fighting guys bigger than him. He's used to fighting guys stronger than him. And he's used to coming out on top. And there you saw Jarrett able to move out of the way. Was it a reflex? Was it instinct? He could feel that big kick coming from Samoa Joe and he moved out of the way. Boy, Jarrett just may have saved his own face, but Joe is going to clean it off. We got the face wash in Richmond. Oh, the champ's got a dirty face. So far in this bout, it's been all Samoa Joe. And listen to the fans chanting for more. Joe is just having his way with Jarrett. But I'm going to tell you, Brad, I know you know this, but the fans listening to this DVD right now may not be aware of it, but Jarrett is known to play possum. He's known to absorb a lot of punishment to wait for that break, wait for that opportunity where he can turn things around with a shortcut. And that's how he's been able to hold on to that championship belt for so long. Got no lay chant here in Richmond. They're calling for the big kick on the outside. There are not enough adjectives to describe Jeff Jarrett. He's so crafty, resourceful, cunning. He's slick. He is as slick as human oil. And that experience is such a key factor. You cannot talk about Jeff Jarrett professionally and not talk about all the experience as you see a flashing elbow from Joe. You cannot talk about Jeff Jarrett and not talk about all the ring wars that he has been involved in over the years. But 20 years in the sport, has he ever fought anyone quite like Samoa Joe? Joe is so revolutionary with tactics that have never been seen before. Unique strikes that have never been seen before. Fighting styles that have never been seen before. Has 
Jarrett ever matched up against anyone like Joe before. And there, just like we talked about, Jarrett waiting for the opportunity. He didn't break a rule, he just waited for a spot to open up. And he delivered that drop kick that stunned Joe, who certainly wasn't looking for that kind of offense. Jarrett, now we get some nice jabs, and there's a big wind-up hook. Uppercut right to the jaw. Look at those, those kicks, Brad. Talk about the face wash Joe put on him. Jared's putting it all back. Oh, and here we go. Four go strut, baby. And Richmond coming out of their seats in a very vocal show of displeasure at the Fargo strut. Shoots the big man off into the corner. Impressive. ST Joe! Joe lured him into the corner and got him with the ST Joe. Samoa Joe unable to move forward after hitting that big move. This could have been a pinball in my book. Oh, sit, no, Sinton missed. Jarrett, a step ahead, able to sit up and avoid that impact. And what an impact it would be coming from Samoa Joe. And you notice no wasted motion from Jarrett. He didn't slide all the way out of the ring. He didn't retreat to the floor. He sat up. He avoided the contact, but no wasted motion, no wasted energy. And now, now Jarrett will try to slay the dragon and put the big man down with the sleeper. He's going with a proven hold, the sleeper hold, which Joe uses a form of to win many of his matches. That Coquita clutch is not much different. It's just the way you apply the hold. Well, there are, there are blood chokes and there are air chokes. The sleeper generally is a blood choke. It cuts off the flow of blood to your brain. And that will put anybody down, no matter how much the weight advantage, the height advantage, the strength advantage is on your opponent. You cut off the flow of blood to the brain, it'll put someone down. Joe trying to fight out of it. He does. He's able to break it. Both men into the ropes. And now Joe, with his version, Jarrett quickly out of it with a back suplex. Big show of strength from the champ. Both men down on the mat. Referee Mike Sparks administering a 10 count. Both men have a lot of strength taken out of them. From the sleeper holds. Both men fighting up, looks like Jarrett is going to get to his feet first. Joe, very quickly behind him, blocks the shot. Connects with a right hook of his own. Blocks another one, connects with another right hook. Duck to the line. Scoop power slam, turn Jarrett inside out. Woo, two and seven, eight. That quick power slam from Samoa Joe just about ended the match. Joe going to follow it up with a Inverted the atomic drop. Oh, penalty kick, put it in the face. And there's the back senton, crushing the heavyweight champion of the world. Woo, Jared once again able to slide out of that pinfall, keeping this match going. I think the fans thought Samoa Joe had it in the bag after that senton. Oh, hold on. Oh, he got sparks. Referee Mike Sparks is down to Jarrett. Look at him making a beeline outside the ring to go for his guitar. There's the resourcefulness. There's Jarrett. Joe sees him. Oh, oh God. Joe was going for the dive. Brad, the unbeatable streak is going to end right here in Richmond. Joe was going for the dive and got kabonged with that guitar. Call it desperation or call it ingenuity. Jeff Jarrett just cracked Joe in the skull. This is it. Jeff Jarrett's going to end that unbeaten streak right here in the single center. He's got the pinball. Where's the ref? We still got no ref. Joe Jarrett. just killed Mike Sparks in the corner. Wait, one. You got to be kidding me. No, no, the shoulder is up. Joe able to kick out, but I'm going to tell you what, Mike Sparks. That was a slow three after getting crushed in the corner. I can't blame him for that after Joe killed him. Joe killed the referee for sure. Jarek going with the belt. He Duck missed. the belt shot. Joe is still standing and Mike Sparks caught him. Oh, Joe got him. Joe got him with the shot in the corner. Jared's up. Could it be a muscle buster for the champ? Muscle buster, he nailed it. Center of the ring, cover! And Samoa Joe 
Oh, what a turnaround. Picks up the win after suffering that guitar blast to the head. The Muscle Buster eliminates Jeff Jarrett from this match.